Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Strife Hayes, and on my screen you can see a giant sausage. Now I will stop making these little update videos once New World realizes exactly how dangerous its client is. The things we've seen so far, unlimited health by rolling and moving the window round, I mean that's silly, it's funny to an extent, the auction house not sending people gold, that's irritating, but if Amazon can track that then they can reimburse people, that's not a problem. What if I told you the text box in the game allows you to code? What if I told you the general text box, the general chat, the area chat, the zone chat, or even the private message chat allows you to directly inject code into it to manipulate what the other person sees? It can allow you to pull images from the item files and resize them to a custom size like I've done with this pile of sausages here. Or, and this is what I'm going to show you, it allows you to send a single line of code that, when someone hovers their cursor over it, will instantly crash their game. And you can put this in general chat and anyone can do it. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. New World is full of bugs, we know this, and they're patching them as they go. Being able to roll and place yourself in invulnerable stasis, spam crouching in the healing aura to heal faster, getting the permanent bloodlust proc from a great axe so you're permanently moving 30% faster and doing 15% more damage. These are all annoying, but they're not game-breaking, as in they don't literally break the game when they happen. But this, this does exactly that. I'm not an expert on coding, so I grabbed professional coder, fellow YouTuber and good friend Callum Upton to explain it to me in very simple terms and then I'll show you it happening. I am not going to tell you the code or how to do this, because I want Amazon to fix it before people start using it maliciously. I just want to light a fire under Amazon so they are aware anyone can do this. Callum, thank you for taking the time to talk to me about this. No problem. Now, Cal, you know way more about coding than I do, and uh, that's because I know very little about coding, and you know quite a lot about coding. So, as far as I am concerned, the text box is just a box that you type words in and other people see them. I wouldn't imagine it could be used for coding, but apparently it can. So, could you just explain what's happening with this? Right. So, essentially, it's a website. It, from what I can tell, it's using HTML. So, HTML works like boxes, uh, containers, and you put containers inside containers, to contain the containers above them and it's kind of like a list and that's what we use the little pointed brackets for exactly yeah so now in every code in language there's something called an escape character so in python i think off the top of my head i think it's a hashtag and basically anything after the hashtag uh, sorry a backslash will just be treated as not code it basically says anything after this point until i tell you otherwise is not code now okay. what they've got is they've got the text frame which is a html frame and each message is a box inside of that. Now, what they forgot to do is say, hey, don't allow any boxes inside these boxes. So the text that you're putting into the chat is being treated as direct HTML code, which is one of the stupidest mistakes I've, I've seen in gaming like, over the years. Now, we could forgive them for this if it wasn't the first time it had happened. This has happened before in World of Warcraft. Yes. Yeah, it's actually quite funny because it was me and some friends that exposed this in World of Warcraft a couple of years back. And um, it was a big one. You could link images of literally any size because in in the text, you could define the image resolution. And I bet you can actually do that in New World too. I've done that already. I've resized a sausage. Yeah, yes, I did see that. I didn't know if that was default sausage size. No, but... <laughs> no that, is, that is definitely enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that, that's that's how that works. And there's, there's potential for a lot worse depending on what their text box accepts. So let's say uh, World of Warcraft, at the time that this was a bug, had automated messages that go out saying, hey, it's time for our weekly live stream and had a link. So they'd made the text box accept links or hypertext. So if New World has has got that in, has got some sort of notifications of their own that have links, Potentially, you could be hiding links as images and just sending out malware. Right, I haven't seen it yet, but that's not to say it's not there. Now, when, uh, yeah. we, when we do the replacing image trick, what it does is it calls upon the images stored on the local machine, on the client's computer. So it's not like we're uploading images and then just letting no, people see anything. Just... 
referencing. Right. So the danger is if there's anything in the New World files that players shouldn't see that was there for testing purposes that hasn't been removed that is meant yep. to be a secret that is meant because in World of Warcraft you found a was it a 4K <laughs> resolution image of a wheelchair of a wheelchair yeah and that was because they'd got it on the box art but for some reason they'd uploaded the full 4K image into the game files and I, I don't know why but because but it yeah, was nobody there, knew it was there you were able to reference it and make it appear yep so putting images up is funny. That can be silly, you know. That's that's yeah. that's something that can be can be stopped. And they're probably going to be able to change this pretty quickly from being able to accept code to not being able to yeah, accept code. Yeah, really quick fix. But what I'm going to show in the video in a second, and this is the problem, is you can inject a very very simple bit of code. You're talking like one or two lines mm -hmm. that makes people crash the moment they hover over the text that's in yes. between because you've got the code, plain text then the end of the code, and if you hover over the plain text, which is all that appears, so it doesn't look any different, mm -hmm. it crashes the client immediately. Yes, so this is a massive oversight, um, mainly that they allow you to edit this at all, mm. because essentially what... Uh, I won't read the line of text, obviously. No, we don't want to tell people what it is. We want, we want them to part, fix it. Yeah, we want them to fix it, but to, to explain how that's happening, uh, you're basically putting in a load of gibberish in the item data field mm -hmm. and your client is looking at a local database of item data to try and find this you know this data that it's requesting and the way they're doing it is they're, they've just got a for loop through the database to find it and it can't find it because it doesn't exist so it loops and then it'll start again and again and again and it just loops because it can't find it and your client runs out of memory and crashes so what's what the player sees is a bit of text that I've written and when yeah. they hover their mouse over it, what their computer sees is code to find very specific value. Exactly. And then they try and look for the value. It's not there. They try and look. It's not there. They try and look. It's not there. Crash. Yeah. Imagine I say to you, go to the library and find me this book. And I insist to you that it's in there. But mm. it's not. You, you'll just be looking forever. And then eventually you run out of energy and die. And die, yeah. And, and that's exactly what's happening. It's right. a, such a big error, but mm. an easy one to fix. And... It's weird because this has happened so many times before in MMOs that they just don't sanity check anything. When you send a message, the server should at least check that the data you're putting in there is valid data at all. Right. But it so doesn't. I'm going to go and do this now to prove that it works. And yep. I want to just reiterate to everyone, because you've got a video coming out on New World as well soon, haven't you? Yes. I will link to that in the description. If anyone's interested in the more kind of coding development side of it, Callum's channel is a fantastic, fantastic look into how things work. He was the guy that pretty much absolutely blew open Dreamworld. So thank you very, very much, Cal, for taking the time to talk to me. And I will see no you at all. probably on Monday for the Tangent Tavern, where we'll likely be talking about this more. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. In fact, while this video was rendering, Callum and I were messing around in the game and we discovered how to recreate the flashbang bug, where you fill the text box with a huge yellow block of colour and you have a massive yellow square appear above your own head, which will fill everyone else's vision. Not necessarily dangerous, but incredibly irritating in PvP. For more information on this, hop over to Callum's channel. Right, I've no got to head off. Thank you for your time, Cal. Take care. You're very welcome. Speak later. The fact the general text box accepts code at all is ludicrous. It's a mistake World of Warcraft made back in 2004, so now I can show you the trouble it could cause. Now, some people have messaged me saying, Josh, are you sure you're not going to get into trouble with Amazon for talking about these bugs, these exploits, maybe even showing footage of them? I don't think so, because... Allow me to show you one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Potentially the dumbest thing I've seen in my entire life. This is the official New World forums, and this is the bugs and exploits reporting section. You can scroll down and you can see all of the bugs and exploits that people have been reporting so far. And you can click on them, and you can read them through. But here's an interesting thing. The official reporting of a bug and an exploit actually requires you to list how you reproduce the bug. What are the steps to reproduce the issues as you experienced? That is a question the bug report asks you. That is something the forum wants you to fill in. And everyone can read them. 
So you can just go through all of the bug reports and find exactly how to do every single one of them. You can link an item in the general chat, but request the item be preceded by an image held within the game's files, and you can set the custom size of the image to be displayed, so it can completely fill the text box like this sausage. Or, if you choose an item file that does not exist, you get a bright yellow texture not found image, which in many ways is worse. Imagine 15 people in general chat spamming this, because that is possible to do literally right now. But here's the true problem. You can write a code, then put in some plain text and link an item, all normal looking. But when people hover over the text you've written or the item you've linked, the client will crash. Because where you as a player see text, when the cursor touches it, your game sees a request it cannot possibly complete. The team behind New World have left the ability for the text box to accept single, simple lines of code in, and this means if you know what to write, you can make other people's game clients display images they should not be able to display, quite possibly play sounds they should not be able to play, and, if you send a request that cannot be completed, crash. I tested this with a few friends over a few hours. We were able to replicate it quickly and consistently. I did not put this in general chat, but if I had done, I could have crashed every single player who moused over it. Imagine writing, Oh my god guys, just got the best sword ever, check out these stats, then linking an item with this code active on it. Anyone who hovers over the text or the item I linked would crash their game. That is the reality of New World right now. Unlimited health while rolling is an oversight. Breaking your auction house while offline is annoying but ultimately fixable. This, however, is dangerous. Callum Upton's channel is linked in the description and he will have more information on this as he uncovers it. I do not want New World to die. I want to explore a turn in a fun, safe and stable game, but until Amazon Games Studios show they are able to make that, I have to be extremely wary of every single line of text I see. And I know it's only a matter of time before someone finds how to inject code which affects trading, combat or items, either theirs or mine. So until your text box doesn't accept code, which it never should have done in the first place, I have to treat this game as extremely dangerous. Thank you for watching. As usual, thank you to the Patreon supporters and Twitch subs who keep the channel alive. Check the video description for links to the Patreon, Twitch, Twitter and Discord, and as always, have a great day.